So one is um, alternative data sources. So how can we incorporate alternative data uh, with traditional data sources to produce better outcomes. There's social media data, there is uh, data such as you can incorporate weather. You know, how do all of these alternative data sources, how are they going to help us to make better decisions in the future? Um, so for example with credit, are there other things that we can look at you know, within the confine, within regulatory confines that will help us to better rate uh, credit risk? And so that's one area that we're looking into. We're also looking at um, understanding uh, client behavior, so improving the customer experience. What are, how can we use, a lot of the work that we've been doing lately has been in the area of deep learning, which is, uh, it's a process where you're trying to mimic, to some extent, the, the neural connections within a human brain. And so you're taking information and you're passing it through various filters and you're making connections where that information actually leads you to a, a more accurate outcome. So we're, we're doing a lot of work with neural networks right now, both our own, um, so we're using convolutional neural networks for image classification, um, you can use it for document reading and classification, but you can also use it for more complex relationships. And so, for example, identifying what products are customers likely to want in the future. Um, traditionally, we've used collaborative filters, but there are new techniques that are coming out to help to address those questions. So those are some of the things that we're looking at. You know, how do you provide a better customer experience? How do you be more predictive? How do you increase the accuracy of your predictions? How do you provide useful insights? How do you incorporate alternative data sources?